What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash and Spider-Man Far From Home video. So if you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe down below. So let's start off with the Flash Season 5. We are getting a brand new villain moving forward for the Flash, which is pretty awesome. We already know that Cicada is going to be the big bad of this season, the person who hates metahumans and wants to see their complete and utter demise. However, this new villain here, confirmed by the hashtag show, is actually going to be a Golden Age villain. So this is not going to be someone from the Jeff Johns run. This is going to be someone much like the Fiddler, who was also a villain and thinker, a villain of Jay Garrick. So hopefully we will see Jay Garrick. We haven't seen him for quite some time, have we? And it's a real shame that we haven't seen Jay Garrick that much because I think that he is absolutely awesome. And I think John Wesley Ship does a fantastic job of playing that role. And he is, I think it's really fun seeing two versions of The Flash on two different Earths. Of course, it's that very kind of, that merge where we had the crisis on, on two Earths thing, where they kind of met for the first time and things like that. It's just really, really fun having those two together. And it really does make up for the lack of Wally West. As King and Lonsdale, we know now that he's only been in five episodes this season. So he will probably only return as a guest star later on. But this villain is called Ragdoll. And Ragdoll seemingly is only going to be in one episode at the moment. So Ragdoll, his description pretty much says that he's a contortionist who kind of, kind of twist and bend himself in different sort of ways. And that's going to be really important here because if he is that big villain, well, he's going to be a classic sort of season one villain where we see him trying to sort of actually steal stuff and be a proper criminal, so he's got his powers and he decided to become evil. Well, not evil, but stealing things. However, he does have a sinister plan. Now, we're not sure what that actually is going to be just yet, but I would probably think that it is linked possibly to the villain Cicada or something like that. However, Cicada hates metahumans, so I can't see him working with metahumans. So if we bear that in mind, where could we see this going? And I expect he possibly has a more of a different plan and they might even just completely rewrite the character of Ragdoll, much like they did with a lot of the characters last season, such as new, like kind of the, the nuclear dude and, of course, the fiddler and much what they did with the thinker as well. I think it did play true quite a lot to his comic book origins and they kind of merged all the different versions of his stories together. So he does have a sick plan, like I said, and I'm not sure what that's gonna be. And part of me is thinking that it might be some sort of thing where he actually, you know, wants to turn everyone into what he's like, have a weird sort of body where it contorts and things like that. And I have to say, I expect the Elgate Man to be heavily involved in that episode. Of course, it is a comic, like I said, it's a golden age villain. And he was involved with the Justice Society and was also in like the secret society of villains as well. So I'm hoping that we'll see a return of the rogues this season. That'd be fun to be honest, I would like to see that. And maybe we'll see a good version of the rogues where they actually kind of stop him, but you know, that probably won't happen. Now, next up we've got something different. We've got Spider-Man Far From Home. Now Spider-Man Far From Home is filming currently in Europe and they've wrapped up filming, I believe, in London, and they've moved over to Venice in Italy, which is, if you don't know, it is a city which has been flooded, and it is pretty much part of the sea, and it, it's not looking good for you if you live in Venice. However, Tom Holland has provided a video on Twitter where he's talking, he's joking that he doesn't have a stunt double, but his stunt double's like directly behind him, and he's absolutely destroyed by a massive bunch of water. So, now, a lot of people are thinking that this could be, that this, this might be Hydro Man. Hydro Man being Morris Bench, a character who was actually, he was, the whole reason why he is who he is, is because we had Spider-Man fighting the more the Submariner, who one day he might return it or come to the MCU. Um, I don't really care if he does or not. But what happened is, he, this Morris would be on a, on a kind of US 
naval ship, he'd fall into the sea and he'd be exposed to an experimental generator, turning him in, giving him like hot water hydrokinesis, and he can just turn himself into water, etc. Blah blah blah. So, with that in mind, this could be the person who is involved. And it's really backing up my theory here that we might be getting a backdoor pilot sort of into the Sinister Six. Now, the Sinister Six would be working out very well. Let's not forget that Sony have an input into these movies, and I can't see them not having the Sinister Six because we've already got, we have Scorpion, as well as this, we've got the Vulture together in prison, and we also have Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal as well. So, what I'm thinking is they are possibly looming towards a brand new buyer or brand new kind of overarching villain in the MCU, or at least in the Spider-Verse itself, where we have Mysterio, we also have now Hydra Man, Scorpion and Vulture, we just need two more. And I would like it to be Craven the Hunter, I would have preferred this one to be Craven the Hunter, but we'll have to see where this actually goes next. So what I'm expecting is that we will actually have Spider-Man, he will be going around Europe, but Tony, or not Tony Stark, sorry, we will have Nick Fury involved and Maria Hill as they recruit him for S.H.I.E.L.D. to try and stop this threat across Europe of the Sinister Six. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe always, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.